guys, welcome back to our channel. So it's going to be just me today. Ranjit is actually on call this weekend. He's just had a really busy couple weeks, um, but I'm off. When we have weekends like this, I spend more time like, you know, cleaning up around the house or kind of meal prepping. I even do his laundry just to kind of help out um, when he has a busy schedule. My plan today is to run some errands and then I'm planning to make a really nice dinner for him uh, when he comes home. He loves salmon and you guys have been asking for my air fried salmon recipe for a while. So I thought this would be kind of the perfect time to film it. So yeah, I was just planning to kind of take you along my day. I also like to do like little organization things or DIY things. This weekend I set up a clothing rack in our guest bedroom and just kind of rearranged it because it's also in my office and I love how it turned out. So let's go see that first. This is our guest bedroom slash my office. Um, I think we first shared it in our cleaning routine video and it looks way different since then. We had it painted. I rearranged the furniture a little and then also added some things. So this is the clothing rack I was talking about. Um, I have a closet and everything, but I just wanted a clothing rack in this room to kind of have my outfits organized for the week. Um, I just hung up some sweaters there, but tonight I'm planning to put my work clothes on there. I want to do a better job of just kind of really dressing up nicely for work. I found this bin on Amazon to organize our camera equipment because it was just kind of everywhere before. Um, so I just, so it's nice to see that it's all in one place and organized. And then this is my desk area, it has like this fluffy chair. It's by the window, so it has a nice view. Um, I love this water bottle. I've shared it on my Instagram before, but it's really cool that it has time markings on there. So it reminds me that I'm behind on my water intake. It also includes like how many ounces of water you drank. This is my Daisy planner, which I love. It has all like the major Indian holidays and things. And this is more like my wellness planner. I use a separate planner for work things. And then this is the big mirror that used to be in our living room before, but I moved it into our guest bedroom. And then my cozy slippers, which I will also link. So yeah, it's time to put on my winter coat and get out there, which I'm terrified. Look at the snow. Okay, I'm all bundled up and ready to go. I also made a little snack, just a slice of ancient green bread with two to three tablespoons of hummus. It's like perfect for those in-between meal times when you're hungry and just craving something. So I just tried going outside and my car is covered in snow. So I just kind of left it on and I'm gonna go back out in a little bit again. So I have a couple minutes to chat. I also wanted to add earlier that, you know, when I'm on call or when Jit's off or when he's on call and I'm off, it can feel lonely at times. So both of us kind of just focus on doing our own thing, whether it's like meeting up with a friend, you know, getting ready for the week, like I mentioned earlier. Um, so it's just really important to have your own routine um, when you're in medicine or just even in any other field, to be honest. So I didn't do anything particularly fun this weekend, but there have been times in the past where, you know, I've gone out with friends and I did feel guilty in the beginning. But over time, I realized that it's really important for both of us to kind of do our own thing, even when the other person is busy, um, just because it's like important for our relationship. It's important for ourselves. So if you have a partner who has a busier schedule than you um, or you're in medicine and things like that, I totally get it. Um, you know, but it's just really important to kind of still take care of yourself even when your partner is busier than you are. store 
the roads weren't too bad the only reason why i even left the house is because i just needed to make some returns i'm glad that's over with the plan for the rest of the evening is to kind of tidy up a little organize the fridge to get it like ready for the week when my fridge is organized i just notice that it's like so much easier to cook meals during the week and then also marinate the salmon for dinner tonight I did pick up a couple of things from Whole Foods, which I want to share with you guys. Um, you know, these are just small things that I use here and there for like snacks or like quick dinners and things. Um, and I think you guys will really like them too. These are some of the things I picked up from Whole Foods. First is the pasta. I love this brand called Bonza. It has a good amount of protein um, and fiber. Salmon for dinner tonight. And then some vegan chocolate. Uh, this brand Hue is really good. Um, I, I tried the hazelnut butter before, but I've never tried the cashew butter and raspberry. Um, it's like a great after dinner dessert. Next is some plant-based cheese. This is my new favorite mozzarella cheese. It actually melts and stretches. I've been eating like a little pizza snack thing almost every day this week. We were out of rice cauliflower. You guys know how much I eat that almost every day with my Indian food. And then this is for the butternut squash doll tonight. Um, I hate cutting up butternut squash, so it's totally worth it for me to just buy the frozen kind um, and I just kind of throw it in the doll. And then I also picked up this kind of cheese, um, the smoked Gouda style. I haven't tried this one, but I'm excited to try it in my sandwiches. I've been wanting to make more lattes, so this oat-based whipped topping looked really yummy. And then just picked up some avocados for breakfast and smoothies. So for dinner today, I wanted to make some air fried salmon. I'm just adding some avocado oil, red chili powder, turmeric, and some other spices like coriander and cumin. I'll put all of the instructions down below. I'm adding in some salt and then to make these extra delicious I like to add a little bit of lemon juice so I cut up a lemon here on top of uh, adding the lemon juice I also like to include some ginger and garlic I love these frozen pods that I just defrost quickly I pop them in the microwave and then I add the ginger garlic on top of the salmon I also like to add in some fresh herbs, so I'm chopping up some curry leaves and some cilantro here. Just really gives um, a nice taste to the salmon. Now we're just going to add that on top and then mix it all in. To add a little bit of spice, you can add more red chili powder or add green chilies like these. Then we're going to just make sure the salmon is coated with all of the herbs and the spices and we're going to marinate that in the fridge for about one hour. Now it's time to make our dal. I just rinsed the lentils a couple of times and then I'm adding in a couple handfuls of spinach and some spices like turmeric, coriander, and cumin. You can also add in a green chili, but that's totally optional. Now we're just gonna pop that into our Instant Pot and let it pressure cook for about 15 minutes. After the fish has been done marinating for an hour, we're gonna now air fry it. So now I'm just adding one layer on the bottom and then adding another layer on the top. If it's just two fillets, you can just do 10 minutes at 390 degrees. If you're cooking more than two fillets, I'd recommend maybe like 15 minutes. Now it's time to get started on the second portion of our dal. So I just put a pan on the stove, adding in some avocado oil, some onions, curry leaves, Some cumin seeds and then also mix in some mustard seeds now we're gonna add some more garlic I love these frozen cubes they're just so easy to pop in there now we're gonna let it saute for a couple minutes until it becomes aromatic in the meantime the dal is done cooking so we're just gonna blend that in a little bit and then we're gonna mix it in to the portion that's been cooking on the stove. I 
adding in some salt to taste. While the dal is done cooking, I am cooking on cauliflower rice. I love making it in the microwave, it's just so easy. I just take the frozen cauliflower rice, put it on a plate, and then cook it for about uh, 10 to 12 minutes. It's so fluffy and nice, and it goes so well with the Indian food. I added in some cilantro with the dal as well. And then I'm plating the dal and then adding the salmon on top. It was a perfect, quick, and easy dinner. Alright guys, so we had a really nice dinner, um, I hope Jit doesn't get called back in tonight. He is sleeping in the guest room because his pager will go off and things and then that'll just kind of disrupt both of our sleep. Um, so I'm going to be sleeping in like our bedroom and he's going to be sleeping in the guest bedroom tonight. I think that's what we're going to have to do just because this rotation he's on call like every 2-3 days. So I'm just kind of doing my nighttime routine alone today. We finished cleaning up everything and now I'm just kind of sitting on the couch, relaxing, enjoying my tea. Um, and then I have my chocolate that I picked up from the grocery store today. I haven't tried this flavor, so let's see. Mmm. It's like a hazelnut dark chocolate. Would definitely recommend, I love it. And then my lavender tea but please make sure you guys subscribe, like, share, um, and I'll see you guys next time.